What up, Boss Thons? It's your boy, Curtis Thon. Ah! What up, Boss Thons? It's Curtis Thon Dino. There we go. There we go. Y'all know I hate when I say that your boy stuff is so corny. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. So impolite. Really not a polite guy. Anyway, so today we're going to be reviewing, rather doing a comparison between the Fendi Think Love sock sneakers and the the mont vetement 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 how do you say it y'all know what i'm saying the vetement sock runner Reebok collaboration now a lot of people wanted me to compare the balenciaga speed trainers versus the uh vetements but the thing is i feel like i've already done a video with the balenciagas and i've done so many I done, i've done a lot of content with the balenciagas and granted it is more of a popular shoe but the reality of it is is I just don't want to do that now but because I listed it in the title I can just add footage from the previous video where I talk about the Balenciaga and still compare it to the Vatmont shoe now as you know if you watched any of my videos before then you already know how much I enjoyed the Speed Trainer it was one of my favorite shoes it was my slipper now the Speed Trainer has been replaced by the Triple S Balenciaga has been taking my heart but somewhere along the way I end up buying every other variation of everything else now, to start, we have the Fendi Love, the Think Love sneaker. It's a very vibrant sneaker. It has a lot of detail. It has the um, ribbed sock look. It has a very thick sock. Um, it's encased with like a, um, almost like a dipped laminated plastic type of leatherette type of toe box so to speak um, I guess this would be the toe box mentioning that also this has like a plastic toe box here underneath of this material and then we have like a very very vibrant orange sole kind of you know contrasted with uh, a vibrant a very vibrant blue a very vibrant blue stripe coming up this way and then Fendi and like this like rubber printing a very it really makes you wonder how they printed this. Also, I've also said how I wanted like the Gucci to be printed in this material, just to give it like a 3D effect. I said that on the Gucci unboxing. If you want to go check that out, that is available to watch. Now, um, now spelled N E O W. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Okay, maybe it's the Baltimore thing. I don't know. So, in short, um, I've talked about this shoe several times in the past. I've talked about my main problems with it, which was the um, slimness of it and how difficult it was to wear with certain pants. Of course, you can slim the pants. Of course, you can like, um, you know, jumble them up some. Of course, there are many options. Of course, you can wear not pants at all. I mean, you have, it's your choice. Pick your poison, I guess. Um, so that's that. And I'm, I'm a very big fan of those Fendi shoes. I think that they're very comfortable. I walked around New York in them, love them. Now, on the other hand, we have the Vetmont, and maybe I should put the stuffing back in them just to be fair. So let me do that now. Um, I didn't put the entire stuff in back in them. I just put the cardboard to keep it up. Now, the Vet March, on the other hand, this is a Reebok collaboration. I've also voiced my opinion on these in the past. I talked about how much I did not like the construction of them in the terms of a lot of glue showing around the shoe. I think that's very poor quality, especially when these shoes were $840 retail. Now, these shoes, I believe, are $785. And I, uh, if, I, if the, well, like $750, $785, but they're around $800, a little less than what these are. These are probably topping the any sock shoe on the market, except for maybe, for men at least, that I know of. I know Fendi did release another one that's kind of like a shoe mixed with a sock. Um, looks very different, not something I'm into. Maybe I'll post a picture here. All right. Now, these kind of top the market in terms of cost. They're $840, but I also feel like they lack in quality the most. I feel like the Speed Trainer is a lot more... Um, quality than this and I feel like the Fendi still probably has the most quality but as far as style goes um, these versus the Balenciagas versus the Fendi's I feel like these reign supreme let me explain a little bit why one I'm very 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 big fan of a wide toe on shoes it just has a sexier foot it's definitely a sexier footing um, it's just much more appealing than like a very narrow toe and not that I'm into gender norms, gender roles, or believe that clothes can have a sex, but I feel like a lot of times for the years we've seen women have like narrow, more narrow tennis shoes, and that's why I've never really liked women's tennis, or tennis that have been sold, I, you know, being called women's tennis, just because 
they always were very narrow and I just never like narrow tennis shoes. One, I have like a very wide foot, but that's not even why. It's more like the look of it. It just isn't as appealing. Like this right here is very, very, like this is a very attractive footing, especially compared to this footing right here. This kind of looks like a, I don't know, like a, or something like, I can't even explain it. In comparison to this, I feel like this has a really sexier footing, especially when you see these on feet. Like these on feet, and I'll definitely do it on feet soon. Don't worry, stay tuned for that. When you see these two next to each other, it's just like, to me, it's an easy winner. This one gets chosen very often though because it's so bright and it's so vibrant. You know what I'm saying? But this is a for sure winner. With this, also how I talked about how I hate the, um, how like small this part is right here. This one definitely is the opposite of that. Even though it kind of looks small in the video, you can really, if I just move this like this, you can see when you put it on how much room it is. At some point in time, I was a little upset because I'm like, damn, my skinny jeans, it kind of still bellows out. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it doesn't hug you as much, well, really at all in comparison to how these may hug your jean or hug your denim or hug your jogger or hug your whatever you're wearing at the bottom. So that's why these are definitely probably, um, would lose in that time in that sense but that's why it gives me that feeling of like i probably could wear like some straight leg jeans not slim not skinny but straight and probably like do like a like a, i don't care look like a boot kind like jeans hanging out my shoes type look and i'll definitely probably play with that sometime in the future we definitely probably would do a hotter style for these or something like that um but these as far as design go, they're much more minimal. And by the way, like looking at these now, the left is like fraying. The T on the left is fraying. Let me see if I hold it to the side, you can see it. You can see it just a tad bit, it's fraying. And um, that just goes to show you how poor quality they are, I feel. Um, they have like a little um, support on the sides. I feel like I've never really noticed this before. But they're just super comfortable. It's, a, it's one of my favorite shoes um, that I purchased in recent history, besides probably the triple S's. These are the only thing that beat them. Um, then like the, the design, like this is more of my aesthetic in terms of like the blue, the red, you know, the black, like very simple, um, don't really have to try too hard with them. That's definitely my aesthetic. Then of course you have these and they're just so bright and so vibrant that it can kind of make it difficult. But what I will say is that these are both comfortable shoes. So those, that's a, that's, that's a pro, that's a pro for both of them. They're both really comfortable shoes. Um, I, like I said, I walked around New York for hours with these on. I walked around in London for hours with these on. These may win in comfort, though. They may win in comfort. It could be just the sole. The sole is like a really soft, kind of like bouncy sole. And then this is kind of like a very poor sole. But it does have like a lot of movability, which I feel like whenever you buy an expensive shoe and you want to be able to walk around it and enjoy yourself, you definitely want the shoe to have some movement to it. You feel me? And um, so I would definitely have to put this one... Um, second when it comes to comfort. And now I just wanna show you a side by side of the shoes and then on foot, on feet. Got no bread, got it from us. Got no bread, got it from us. Got no bread, got it from us. You fucked up, they don't really care about you. Y'all just motivated me, nigga. That's all I really learned. Got no bread, got it from us. Got no bread, got it from us. I don't know what I am. Got no bread, got it for nothing. I remember when I had love. Niggas ain't treat me like this. They ain't treat me like this. Niggas ain't treat me like this. Niggas ain't treat me like this. They ain't treat me like this. Niggas ain't treat me like this. Niggas ain't treat me like this. Niggas ain't treat me like this. I guess your nigga just lit. They ain't treat me like this. Hear me. Young, young niggas so lit. They ain't treat me like this. Maybe cause they couldn't see me. Maybe cause they see me now. And it's cause they wanna be me. Time, time, I'll let me. <laughs> let me make this shit more clear for you. Let me look yourself in the mirror for you. Little nigga, you ain't never be me. Let me tell you that right now. I'm the type to smoke a whole zip out the whole pound, like right now. Time, time, I got chill out, nigga, cause I'm thinking like way too ahead of myself. All of my niggas like broski, man, you really gain too much breath for yourself But I'm like, y'all never understand how this shit really turning me up Cause I remember when all of my niggas was the only thing that was turning me down 
Hey, young nigga live for them niggas that ain't here no more. I glow up for my niggas, I swear my life a talk. Go on my ground, you see me, you like them. They like, oh, who is sick? Now they know who I am. All right, guys, I'm glad you enjoyed the on feet. Now, let's just get right back into the discussion. Basically, um, I don't have much more to say. I feel like I've kind of covered all points. We covered price. We covered comfort. We covered wearability. We, comfort, we covered um, durability. I feel like the Vet Mart ones aren't as doable as the Fendi ones. I feel like the Vet Marts, you can wear more than the Fendi ones, though. So, I mean, each has a pro and each has a con, but still, even though I feel like these have way more cons, just because of the design alone, I feel like these went so simple, so classic, so many wears for the dawn versus the um, Fendi ones. I feel like I just won't wear as much. Um, so, that's pretty much that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like my content, please pledge anything that you can to my Patreon, and that's just at patreon.com backslash Curtis Don Dino. Other than that, be sure to check out my website, shopdino.com. See this track, suit boy? See that track, suit boy? Um, yeah, and the Dawn chain is from there also as well, just a gold-plated chain. It's really fun and easy to wear. I like to wear it all the time. I am a Dawn, and you are too, so it's just what we do. Oh, I'm so corny rhyming all the time. But other than that, guys, um, just make sure you stay untouchable, stay untouched by criticism and by fuck shit. Uh, have a nice day and Godspeed. <laughs>